can't accidentally scale it in and out by zooming, and I can't move it. This one, on the other hand over here, is not locked. So if I click outside, select it, and lock it, now I know that I can't accidentally move or mess up my scale. This is a great practice and habit to get into, and that is locking your viewports once you've set them the way you'd like. Once you're happy and have your viewports locked, that's going to help create consistency within your drawing since you're not going to be accidentally moving anything or messing up any scales and all of your scales are going to match between sheets. Now, if you'd like to clip a viewport once it's been created, you have that option up here. Again, you can create a clipping object from pretty much anything. I'm going to draw a circle here just in the middle. We're going to place it over our existing viewport. So this is our viewport here, and this is simply a circle. What we can do is choose clip, and this can be any size or shaped object as long as it's a closed object. We're going to select the viewport we want to clip, and then select our object. Doing that has now created a locked clipped viewport in whatever shape we'd like. So this is a great way to get creative, especially with like zoom ins and blow ups of details of various objects and areas within our plans. This can save a ton of time and it makes our drawings look a lot better and more professional if you've got things kind of fitted around properly with nice clean lines and edges.